today, I'm going to be cheating in a space building competition by pasting in the entire solar system. And in order to prank my friend Gold along the way, I'm going to be setting traps on each planet to make things even more chaotic. And at the end of this video, I'm even going to launch Gold into a massive black hole. Gold, are you ready for today's space building competition? Yeah, I am, Llama. Gold, what do you think you're going to be building on your side of the wall? Um, why would I tell you? Oh my gosh, Gold, good point. Well, I'm going to go over to my side and build quite possibly the coolest thing you've ever seen. All right, and first for our solar system build, I'm going to be pasting in the sun. So let me go ahead and load the sun really quick. And now let me go ahead and do slash slash paste. And boom. Oh my gosh, look at how massive our sun is. If this is the start of our solar system, I cannot wait to see how cool all of our planets look. And look, you can even see all of the cool fire that's spewing out of the star. All right, and now that we have the sun pasted in, we can go ahead and start pasting in the A planets of our solar system. And at the end of this video, I'm going to be pasting in a massive black hole. So first, let's go ahead and start with the closest planet to our sun, Mercury. So let me go ahead and load Mercury in and then go ahead and run the command slash slash paste. Boom, there we go. All right, and now that we have our very first planet pasted in, I think we should figure out what gold should do once he gets here. Here. Because on every single planet that Gold gets to, he's going to have to complete some sort of task. And since Mercury is the second hottest planet in the solar system, I say we progressively turn this thing into magma blocks. And while this planet is heating up, he'll have to mine down like this and then find a chest down here that contains a bunch of building blocks so that he can travel to the next planet. So I'm thinking we go ahead and build down like this and then place the chest right there. And now let me go ahead and grab a bunch of cobblestone and place it in all like that. All right, perfect. Now, Let's go ahead and cover all this up. All right, so now that we have the first planet of our solar system pasted in, it's time to paste in our second planet, which is going to be Venus. So let me go ahead and run the command slash slash paste, and boom, now we have our second planet. All right, and once gold bridges from Mercury to Venus, I say we drop a bunch of this nuclear waste TNT on him. So let me go ahead and build up just like this, and then make a little platform like this. And now let me go ahead and place some dispensers around this entire platform, and then get some repeaters down. Let me go and connect all this up with some redstone. And perfect. Finally, all I need is a lever. And now let me go and fill all these dispensers up with nuclear TNT. All right, and now whenever the TNT drops from the sky, it'll be just like the actual planets, raining acid rain from the sky. All right, and then once gold gets past all of the nuclear acid, he'll have to bridge all the way over here to Earth. So now let me go and paste Earth in. And now we have Earth, the third planet of the solar system and the planet we call home. But wait a second, where is the moon? It's completely missing. So I'm thinking we build our own moon right up here. So let me go ahead and type the command in to build all that. And perfect. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm stuck. Almost out. Perfect. And there we go. Now we have our own moon. And you know what? I'm thinking we give gold a nice little checkpoint on Earth. Because after having to endure all of the magma blocks and the acid TNT, I'm pretty sure gold is going to want to relax. But of course, we're not going to actually let him relax because we're going to be spawning in all of this fake water at the North Pole. And because Gold loves swimming, I know that he's going to want to take a jump in this bad boy. But of course, once Gold gets around that trap, I'm thinking we give him some golden apples just like this, a water bucket, and of course, a diamond sword with sharpness five. Because Mars is going to be Gold's first encounter with aliens, and he's going to need to take them down in order to move on to Jupiter. So let me come right over here and then load Mars. So now let me go in and paste Mars in with slash slash base. Perfect! And I'm thinking that the first alien encounter that Gold has is with this massive mutant shulker. So what I'm thinking is that once Gold steps on this pressure plate right here, ginormous mutant shulker will come out and absolutely destroy him! But of course, once he's done defeating that mutant shulker, he'll be able to find this chest right over here with an elytra and three fireworks. Because I'm pretty sure that Gold is not going to want to bridge to the next planet being Jupiter. Because now we're going to be flying so far away that the sun is going to start to become not even visible. Oh my gosh, we're so far away that I can't even see the sun. All right, I think right here is going to be good because this planet is about to be insanely massive. So let me go ahead and run the command slash slash paste and paste in Jupiter. And perfect. Oh my gosh, this planet is massive. 
massive. In fact, it's even 300 times bigger than our planet Earth. And although you wouldn't normally be able to stand on Jupiter because it's a massive gas giant, I think we have gold come all the way to the top and start doing a maze throughout the entirety of the inside of this massive planet. So let me go ahead and grab some red tinted glass and start making the entrance to our massive Jupiter maze. All right, so there we go. Now I think we have the entrance to our massive 3D maze. So now let me go ahead and start building up the walls. And now let me go ahead and make holes in some of these walls like this. And so now we're gonna have a bunch of entrances for this massive maze. Oh my gosh, this maze is actually coming along pretty good. And you know what? I'm thinking we make this a little bit of a multi-layered maze. So once gold gets to, let's say, this entrance right here, we'll have him drop down to the next section. So let me make this next section orange, just like that. And now I actually need to go ahead and make the walls for this entire maze. And you know what? I'm thinking if you make it onto this path right here, you should be able to see the entire inside of this planet. Because right now, whenever you come down this chute, you'll only be able to see part of the planet. But if you manage to find this path right here, you'll be able to see the entirety of the inside of this planet. And you know, honestly, this is a little bit too easy of an exit. So let me move it right over here. And once Gold finds this exit right here, I'm thinking we just build a massive bridge all the way over here that leads him to the outside of the planet. With, of course, a nice little chest right here that has a couple more fireworks inside. So let me go ahead and give him five fireworks just like this. And so now we go and add a trap door like this. Perfect. And now we'll be able to get outside of the planet and he'll be able to go on to Saturn. And you know what? I'm thinking we paste in Saturn right over here. So let me just go ahead and load Saturn in and then paste it just like this. All right, so there we go. Now our sixth planet of our solar system has been pasted in. And oh my gosh, Saturn looks so cool with all of these rings. And now once gold gets to Saturn, I'm thinking we give him a rover. And that rover will look like this. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cool. But instead of putting one rover in here, I'm thinking I put two in here because me and Gold are gonna have a little race. Once Gold picks up those two rovers, he's gonna go all the way over here to Saturn's rings and me and Gold are gonna race around this entire thing. But of course, not without pranking Gold a little bit because on this course, we're gonna place down a couple of mines here and there just to prank him a little bit. So let me go ahead and place a couple of mines here and there just like this. And then let me go all the way over here and place some more mines down like this. Oh my gosh, these mines are gonna be basically impossible to avoid. And so I'm thinking now we go ahead and get ourselves a little flag going just like this. That just signifies the start and end of the race. Almost done with the flag and boom, there we go. So now with this flag right here, I'm gonna give him a couple more fireworks. So let me go ahead and fly all the way over here. And now I think we're far enough away to paste in Uranus. All right, so there we go. Go, the icy planet of Uranus has been pasted in. But wait a second, this planet is missing something too. Because although you might think this planet doesn't have rings, Uranus actually has some crazy vertical rings. So now let me go in and paste in Uranus's rings. And whoa, oh my gosh, these rings are so cool. And although these rings aren't as massive as Saturn, they're still super cool because it's the only planet in the entire solar system that has rings that are completely vertical. So now once gold gets to Uranus, I'm thinking we have a complete a sand piston maze. So using pistons, gold is gonna have to get this piece of blue concrete powder all the way over here into this observer just like this, which will activate a redstone contraption giving him fireworks to get to the next planet. So I'm thinking we go ahead and build this maze up just like this. All right, and there we go. I think we have our entire maze complete. So if I set this entire roof to glass and then place all these buttons down just like this and i think if we go and play this maze just like this around like that and then of course if you make a wrong turn like this you'll have to actually be super fast so you have to press that button and then that button really fast there we go so you can obviously get super stuck in this maze but you definitely don't want to oh gosh this maze is getting kind of complicated almost done and boom there we go we completed our own maze all right and so now once this blue concrete gets pushed into that observer this block will fall down revealing this chest which of course, we're gonna put some fireworks in because we're headed to the final planet 
of our solar system. And now we can finally paste in the last planet of our solar system. So let me go ahead and load the schematic just like that. And then do the command slash slash paste. And oh my gosh, there it is. The eighth planet of our solar system. Neptune. And what's crazy about this planet is that this planet is just a massive ocean. And once again, you may not know this, but Neptune does have some very thin rings around it. So I say we go ahead and paste those in too. So let me go ahead and use the command slash slash paste. And there we go. Oh my gosh, these rings are pretty cool. And you know what? Since this planet is just a ginormous ocean, I say we go all the way down here and just make this place a massive ocean on the inside. And there we go. Now we have our massive ocean inside of Neptune. And you know what? Once gold falls into this hole into the ocean, I'm thinking we have to fight a couple of elder guardians. And then, of course, once gold defeats those mobs, he'll be able to go right over here and then find this chest with a couple more fireworks in it. Because although Neptune is the last planet, it's not gonna be his final destination. You see, gold's favorite planet is actually Pluto. But, of course, Pluto isn't a real planet. So we're gonna have gold fly all the way over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste this schematic in of Pluto. And, of course, a sign that says press if you love Pluto with a button right here that's gonna be hooked up to a bunch of TNT. All right, so let me go ahead and do this command which fills all of this up with TNT. And there we go. Let me go ahead and fill this in right here. Place one more TNT like that and perfect. So now whenever gold presses this button, a bunch of TNT is gonna go off. And of course, once gold gets blown up by Pluto, I'm thinking we send him to a black hole, which you guys are gonna have to stick around until the end of this video in order to see. But you know what? For now, this is actually pretty cool. From everything from the sun to Jupiter, all the way through Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and of course, all the way over here, tiny little Pluto. Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the coolest build battles we've ever done. The only thing that's missing is an asteroid belt right here, the two moons surrounding Mars, the 87 moons surrounding Jupiter, and all of the other moons surrounding Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Oh, Gold, are you done with your build over there? Yeah, I am, Llama. All right, Gold. Well, whose build do you want to see first? Mine, of course. Oh, my gosh, Gold. Well, I'll go ahead and go over to your side if you're ready, of course. Of course I'm ready. All right, I'm coming over. Wait a second, Gold. What the heck is this? It's the moon. Wait a second, Gold, but this is a bunch of cheese. What do you mean it's the moon? That's what the moon is made of, silly. What? The moon isn't made out of cheese? What is wrong with you? A lot of things. Oh my gosh, Gold. All right, Gold. Well, show me around your moon. Well, here we've got my Honda Civic. Oh my gosh, Gold. This isn't a Honda Civic. This is a Rover. Don't drive off with my Honda Civic, Llama. Oh my gosh, but it's such a cool Rover. Oh my gosh, Gold. This Rover sucks at turning. It's so slow. I mean, we are kind of on a small planet. Oh yeah, good point. But that doesn't excuse the fact that this thing turns at like zero miles an hour. That's not my problem. Oh, my goodness, Gold. All right, let me stay around the rest of the base. And here's my rocket. Whoa, this is actually such a cool rocket. Yeah, I know it is. Don't touch it. Oh, okay, I, I won't touch it. I won't touch it. And uh, what is this giant dirt structure? Why would you make a moon base out of dirt, silly? Well, this is where the man on the moon lives. Wait, what man on the moon? Me. Oh, good point. All right, well, do you want to show me inside? Sure. All right, let's go. <gasps> Whoa, that's such a cool door. Yeah, it is. It's an airlock. Oh my gosh, wait. This is actually such a cool inside. You betcha it is. You gotta make sure you can withstand space. Exactly. Good point. All right, so we got the upstairs. Nice. Is there a nice little downstairs or something? Yeah, there is. All right, let me go down. <gasps> Whoa, wait. This is such a nice little place. It's got a nice little globe. What? A yellow couch. You know what? I'll let it slide. A nice little planet painting. Some candles. Ah! Mama, why did you put them out? Oh, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to. Ah, there we go. Perfect. And then what's in here, Gold? The kitchen. Oh my gosh, what do you have in your refrigerator? Oh my goodness, Gold, nothing. No, check again. Wait, oh my gosh, yellow concrete powder. Wait, what? Why would you eat a bunch of yellow concrete? What are you talking about? That's not food, Gold. There's no concrete in there. What? But there's a bunch of concrete. 
concrete powder in here, Gold. What is wrong with you? Next room. Oh my gosh. Let's see the next room. And here's the bedroom. Okay, a nice little bedroom. I like it. Nice little chest. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much cheese in here. Don't touch my cheese. Ah, my pad. And then a nice little TV. I like it. I like it. Oh, wait, you just locked me in here. Let me out. No. What? No, come on, Gold. You gotta let me out of here. Fine, I guess. I've got one last thing to show you. Oh, really? Let's go. And what exactly is that, Gold? Wait, what? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Wait, what kind of TNT is this? Butter TNT? Oh, my gosh. What the heck is this? Oh, my gosh. It's turning the entire place into butter. Whoa, Gold. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah, it was. That was the plan all along. Oh, my gosh. Wait a second. This isn't butter. This is gold. What the heck? You just turned the entire moon into solid gold. What the moon should be made of. Oh, my gosh. All right, Gold. Well, is that all you had to show me? Yeah, I didn't have much. You know what, Gold? This was actually really cool. Thanks, Llama. What do you read it? Well, Gold, since this is definitely one of your better builds, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. Really? Well, what if I do this? Do what? Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Whoa. Wait, you're turning your entire thing into gold. Um, Gold, I... I don't think you can get inside anymore. You just blew up your own door. I didn't blow it up. Yeah, well, you made it solid gold, silly. Oh, my gosh. See, you can still get right in. There we go. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Whatever. I'll still give you an 8.5 out of 10 because this build was pretty cool. Okay, I'll take it. Well, Lama, let's go look at your build now. I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as mine. Oh, yeah? Well, come on. Let's go. Okay, Lama, I'm right behind you. Oh, my gosh. This is about to be the craziest space build you've ever seen. Seen. All right, are you ready, Gold? Let's go! Oh my gosh, is that a star llama? Yup, it's not just any star, though. It's our own sun. Oh, it's crazy huge! I know, the sun is so massive! And that's not all, because on the other side of this star is all of our rocky planets. Oh my gosh, that's so cool! That's, um, um, Mercury, uh, Venus? Yup. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and, and Mars. Mars. All right, Gold, and guess what? I built an entire adventure map for you. So if you go ahead and start right on this Mercury planet. Oh, okay. Do I have to be in survival? Yep, you gotta be in survival. And now let me go ahead and give you a diamond pickaxe and the challenge will start. And Gold, since you know that Mercury is one of the hottest planets in the entire solar system, your time is limited because I'm gonna be progressively turning this entire planet into a magma ball. So go ahead and start digging. Wait, oh my gosh. I guess I have to bridge over to Venus. Yup, you gotta find a chest and get all of the blocks you need. Or I guess you could just mine out all of the blocks that you need. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, but I found the blocks. Oh my gosh, you found the chest. Oh, gold, the planet is turning into more and more magma. You gotta hurry up. It is getting a little toasty. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, for real. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, you're on to the next planet already. Venus, right? Yup, this one's Venus. And and I made it. Yup. And, uh, Gold, do you know what Venus is known for? Um, being Venus? Well, kind of. But on Venus, it constantly rains acid rain. And I do have a little bit of a present for you. Wait, what? What? What is this? I gotta get down. Oh, my gosh. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. I'm covered in acid. Whoa, Gold, are you dying right now? I don't know. I think I'm okay. But it's melting through the planet. Oh, my gosh, it is. It's completely completely destroying the entire planet. Oh my gosh, Gold, you are taking damage. You gotta get out of there fast. That's right, Mama, I do. Oh my gosh, Earth. I know that one. Yeah, Gold, it's the one that we live on. No, that's the one our parents are from, Mama. Oh my gosh. Wait, then where are we from? Good question. Oh my gosh, what is that? Ah. Oh my gosh, you died instantly. Mama, why did you trap the water? No, ah, no, 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 don't die. Here, Gold, listen, inside of the next chest is all of the items you'll need for your next destination. Okay, Llama, let's see. What's my next destination? Mars, it's right there. Well, before I go to Mars, Llama, I gotta do one thing I've always wanted to do. What's that, Gold? Let's walk on the moon. What? Oh my gosh, you made it to the moon. This belongs to me now. What? Oh my gosh, Gold. All right, Llama, now I can go to Mars. Oh my goodness, Gold. Did you just colonize the moon? I didn't colonize it. I just put my I got it. That means it's mine now. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna tell everyone I own the moon. And there's nothing 
they can do about it. Yeah, I mean, I guess good point. I mean, your flag is right there. Exactly. Oh my gosh, Llama, I made it to Mars. What's up here? Wait a second. What's with this pressure plate? Uh, nothing. Just uh, step on it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? Oh my gosh, Llama, I can't believe you're making me fight something on Mars. Yeah, Gold. Well, I mean, of course I would. It's on alien planets. Oh my gosh. Well, Gold, where did you go? I'm falling into space, Llama. Oh my gosh. Well, good thing you took that shulker with you. I did? Yeah, you did. The shulker's gone. Oh, oh, I guess I did. Cool. All right, Gold. Well, your next destination is the first gas giant of our solar system, Jupiter. Is this elytra for me, Llama? Yup, you got to use the elytra and the rockets to go all the way up to the top of the planet. Okay, Llama. Let's go. And just got to stick the landing. Oh my gosh, you're going so fast right now. All right, Gold. And now you have to complete the maze of Jupiter in order to get all of the fireworks you need to get to Saturn. Not a maze. I hate mazes. Llama. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot to finish some of these walls. What do you mean you forgot to finish some of the walls? Well, I mean, obviously, did you see right there there was no walls? No, I thought it was just parkour. Oh, good point. I mean, I guess it could be parkour. Wait a second. Why does this one lead outside? So that you could see the entire inside of the planet. This is really cool, Llama. I know. It's super awesome. What if I go down here? Oh my gosh. Wait, you found a shortcut. You Bet I did, because I'm the most is smartest. Oh my gosh, Gold, of course you're the most is smartest. And then up I go. Let's go, you did it. Uh, now on to Saturn. But what if I want to do the maze again? I mean, you could do the maze again if you wanted to. No, it was lame. Oh my gosh, well, Saturn is right over here. Oh my gosh, I can see Saturn's rings from here. I know Saturn's rings are the coolest in the entire solar system. I don't know about that one, Llama. What? Which rings are cooler? Um, I really like Neptune. <gasps> Neptune's rings? What? Oh my gosh, Gold, you just fell off! Oh my gosh, Gold, how did you? Oh my gosh. Gold, I think you forgot to put your elytra back on. I forgot to put the elytra on. My bad, Llama. All right, let's go. Time to go to the top of Saturn. The top of Saturn? Okay. All right, it's almost there, and here we are. And I only needed two rockets. Oh my gosh, that's it. Check it out. And Gold, there's one rover for you and one rover for me. What are we going to use the rovers for? Gold, I think you know exactly what we're going to use the rovers for. We're going to race on the rings of Saturn. Oh, but Llama, I suck at racing. Oh, come on, Gold. You're going to do just fine. I mean, if you say so. All right, Gold. So if we go right here, I'll place my rover down just like this. And I'll place mine right here. Perfect. All right, Gold. Are you ready for this epic race? I guess so. All right, then let's go in three, two, one, go. Oh, my gosh. Uncle, just be sure that you watch out for those mines. Wait, what do you mean mines? Uh, I mean mines. Oh, my gosh. Wait, are they not exploding or something? No, I'm just good at missing them. What? Oh, my goodness. Catch up, Llama. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking I go a little bit off the track. Let's go. Wait a second. That's cheating. What? I'm not cheating. I'm just using my reason sources properly. But you built this, so you know the path. That means you're cheating. Oh my gosh, I guess you're kind of right. Oh my gosh, Llama, you got so far ahead of me. I know, I'm literally the best. And oh my gosh, you can even see Jupiter from here. Oh my gosh, you can. It's such a big planet. I know. Oh my gosh, I got stuck. Whoa. Ah. Oh my gosh, wait, the one of the mines work. That's not funny, Llama. But you know what that means, Gold? I get to go ah. ahead. Oh my gosh, did you blow up again? Maybe. Which means I get to get even farther ahead. Let's go. Wait, what are you doing? Um, nothing. Uh, Gold, are you cheating? Uh, no. Oh, my goodness. Ah, wait, I just blew up to my own mind. What the heck? And I crossed the finish line. No, I'm about to cross it with you. Let's go. Oh, I still won. What? Oh, my gosh, but you cheated. Um, you cheated in the first place. I mean, fair enough. But now it's time to move on to the next planet. You're in it. Okay. Let's go. But Gold, check it out. Check out the rings of Uranus. Yeah, they're really not as cool as Saturn. What? They're super cool, though. They're completely vertical. Yeah, they're kind of lame, Llama. What? Oh, my gosh. Well, Gold, good luck with this piston maze because this is how you're going to need to unlock the next set of fireworks. Dang it, I messed it up already. What? No, you didn't, Gold. What am I supposed to do for me? 
here. You're supposed to press this button, which extends the sticky piston and grabs the block and pulls it towards it. What do you mean? There you go. See, you can push the block and you can pull it. Oh, this is lame, Llama. What do you mean it's lame? I got my own way. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. I can't believe you just did that. That was easy. Oh my goodness. Well, good luck because your next planet is Neptune. Oh, I love Neptune. Oh yeah? Um, Gold, what's your favorite planet? Uh, my favorite planet's Pluto, Llama. What? Pluto isn't even a planet, silly. What do you mean it's not a planet? Of course it is. Oh my gosh, Gold. Everyone knows Pluto is no longer a planet. Wait a second, Llama. Are those Elder Guardians? Yup, you gotta go fight them. Or I could just swim around them. Oh my gosh, you're totally just gonna dodge a fight, aren't you, Gold? Um, you bet. Oh my goodness. Well, if you wanna do that, the chest is right over here. Oh, cool. I already found the chest. Yup, I guess you're just that good. You're right, I am. All right, Gold, on to their final destination. Oh, there's an exit right here. How convenient. I know. Oh my gosh, Gold, you forgot to put your elytra on again. Don't worry, Llama. I'm quick with it. Oh my gosh, wait. Did you somehow put your elytra back on? You bet I did. Okay, well, uh, Gold, read the sign. Press if you love Pluto. Press what? This button? Yeah. Of course I love Pluto. It's my favorite planet. Oh my gosh, Gold, it's definitely not a planet, and it's definitely not gonna be a planet after this. Ah! Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was insane. I can't believe you blew up Pluto, Llama. What? I mean, it's not even a planet. But it was my favorite. What? Oh my gosh, Gold. Well, you know what? I have something that's even cooler than Pluto. Nothing's cooler than Pluto. What? Not even a black hole? What's that? Well, Gold, it's something that's really giant and also super dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Because it eats everything. Wait, really? Yup, and you're going there right now. Have fun, Gold. Wait, but what if I get hurt? Uh, don't worry, Gold. You won't get hurt. Bye! I don't know how to fly a rocket! Don't worry, Gold. It's on autopilot. Well, guys, I'm gonna see you at the black hole. Alright, and here it is. The massive black hole. And now all we have to do is wait for Gold. Oh my gosh, look! There he is! Oh boy, he's coming in hot! Oh my gosh! Oops. I told you I didn't know how to drive drive, Llama. Oh my gosh, of course you don't. All right, Gold, well, your final task on this black hole is to defeat these three weather skeletons. Go, go, go. Oh my go. gosh, what the heck, Llama? Get him. Attack. Take that. Oh my Take gosh, that. these guys are insane. Whoa, what is happening to their eyes right now? What do you mean, what is happening to their eyes? I don't know. I don't know. These mutant wither skeletons are crazier than any mutant wither skeletons I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, they're so strong, Llama. I know. Come on, Gold, you got this! Attack! Oh my gosh, you keep getting thrown in the air! Come on, come and get some! Oh my gosh, Gold, they're throwing you all the way down the black hole! Don't die! I'll do my best, Llama! Okay, Gold, wait, those two weather skeletons are fighting down there! That's perfect! I know, so you can focus on one at a time! Whoa, you did it! Now I can go take out the last one! Where'd he oh go? Oh my gosh, wait, I think he fell in the black hole, but he's trying to jump back up! Whoa! Oh, um, Gold, watch out! Watch out for what? Um, I don't know. I think he just fell on the inside of the black hole, and I think he's gonna stay down there. Oh, really? He can't get away that easy. Oh, my gosh! Come on, attack! Oh, my gosh, you did it! That's because I'm the boss. Today, I'm gonna be cheating in a secure planet build challenge. By pasting in all of the planets inside of each other, I'll be able to create a bunch of layers of security to troll my friend Gold. Will he find out that I cheated? Watch until the end and subscribe to find out. Gold, we're back in space! Wait, how did we get here? Uh, because we took our rocket, duh. I don't remember getting in a rocket. Yeah, I put you in one while you were sleeping. What? That's not cool, Llama. But guess what we're doing today? Let me guess. A build battle? We're building secure planets. So I'm gonna build a planet and you're gonna build a planet and then at the end of this video, we're gonna try to break into each other's planets. Oh, okay, Llama. So I just have to build my own planet again? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Alright, let's go! And you know what? For this build challenge, I think we do something a little bit different. Either I'll paste in one planet or I'll paste in a bunch of planets, but this time I'm going to be pasting in a bunch of planets inside of each other. So for starters, I'm going to go ahead and load Jupiter. Just like that. Perfect. All right. So now that we have this ginormous Jupiter pasted in, we can actually go ahead and go on the inside of it. And as you can see, we've left a bunch of room in here. And now that we're on the inside of Jupiter, we're going to paste our next planet. And don't worry, we're going to get to all the security stuff here in a minute, but we got to
I paste in all our planets first. So let me go ahead and load the schematic Saturn and then run the command slash slash paste. And there we go. Now we have the entire planet of Saturn pasted within Jupiter. And you might be wondering, Om Lama, where are Saturn's rings supposed to be? Well, if we go ahead and go on the outside of Jupiter, here they are. Oh my gosh, this looks so funny. Jupiter isn't supposed to have massive rings like these. This is literally insane. Saturn's rings were too big to fit inside of Jupiter, so they just look like they're orbiting Jupiter. And you know what? Before we keep pasting more planets in, I think we should go ahead and start on the security part of our build. All right, and the first part of our security planet build is that we are going to build a rotating bridge all the way to the entrance of Jupiter. So if we go ahead and grab our mechanical bearing just like this, place it right there there. And then we go ahead and grab a creative motor just like this. Place it down just like that. And now in order to rotate this mechanical bearing, all we're gonna need to do is to attach a shaft just like this. But first, we're gonna need to go ahead and make our actual bridge. So I say we go ahead and grab our stone brick slabs just like this and start building our bridge just like this. In fact, if we go ahead and extend this bridge all the way out here just like this, and then we use our wand to select that end and then run this command. Perfect! Now all that's left is to make some guardrails just like this. And then also get some fences down. Almost done. And perfect. Next, let's grab our super glue and super glue this entire thing up just like this. And perfect. And now all that's left to do is to attach a shaft just like this. Perfect. And now we have a perfectly good rotating part. And now all we're gonna need it to do is run across this bridge just like this. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, no! Oh darn it, that didn't work at all. Maybe we need to try running along the bottom of the bridge just like this. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and open a door just like that. And perfect. Now we're on the inside. But what Gold doesn't know about this entrance is that he's actually going to need a key card to get in. And not just one key card. He's going to need five of them. Listen, guys, I'm telling you, we're about to make the most secure planet base of all time. So now let's go in and place down one, two, three, four, and five key card readers down. Perfect. All right. So now let's go ahead and place some iron doors down just like this for every key card card, of course. And now if we go ahead and go inside each of the key card readers, which key card gold is going to need to select in order to open up the next door. Almost done. And there we go. All right. So now let's go ahead and try out our system. Key card number one. Perfect. Number two. There we go. Number three. Still working. Number four. And number five. Nice. We did it. But like I said, gold is going to actually need to find these key cards. And where he's going to find them is all across the rings of Saturn. So let's go ahead and grab a rover and place it right there so that gold has a vehicle to traverse the entirety of Saturn's rings. And now we can go ahead and place a chest right there with our first key card in it. A chest right here with our second key card in it. And you know what? For this one, I say we go ahead and grab some mines just to do a little bit of protecting with it. There we go. Perfect. Chest number three. There we go. And on this one, we're gonna have a turret on it. So let's go ahead and grab that. Perfect. Another chest right here with our fourth key card in it. And you know what? I'm thinking this this one is going to spawn a mutant wither whenever it's opened, of course. And oh my gosh, Gold is gonna have to try to run away from that thing because I know he's not strong enough to defeat that. And finally, our last chest. Perfect. And you know what? This chest can just be a normal chest. I bet Gold will be freaking out though. I bet he'll be wondering what kind of traps we place there. All right, so now once Gold gets past all of that, he's gonna be able to enter Saturn. And wait a second. Oh my gosh, there's so much empty space in here. I forgot we still need to paste in more planet. So now let me go and load the schematic Uranus and paste it just like that. Perfect. All right, and now for gold to get from Saturn to Uranus, he's going to need to complete a little maze. And this isn't going to be any normal maze because this is actually going to be an explosive maze. And what I mean by an explosive maze is if that gold takes a wrong turn at any point, he's going to come in contact with a mine disguised as a diamond block. And although we can't test this out right now because, you know, I don't want to blow up, it's going to be super awesome when gold tries to complete this. And in order to throw gold off, we're actually gonna have normal diamond blocks along with the diamond block mines, just so that every single time he sees a diamond block, he's not gonna know whether it's a mine or just a normal diamond block. So let me go ahead and keep building out this maze just like this. All right, almost done. Oh my gosh, this maze is turning out to be pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. All right, and then now once gold gets here, he's going to have to climb a ladder all the way up here in order to enter
enter Uranus. And oh my gosh, check out our maze. We're gonna need to put some walls on this thing, but for now, let me go ahead and show you the right path. So what's cool it enters this room. He's not gonna wanna go left. He's gonna wanna go straight and then take a right and then take another right and then take a left and then a right and then a left and then another left. And then he's gonna wanna take the first right all the way over here. Perfect, perfect. And boom, that'll have completed the maze. So now let me actually just go ahead and fill all of these walls up with light blue concrete. Just like this. Perfect. And there we go. I think we've got our entire maze done. So now let me go ahead and grab our ladders and we can go all the way up to the top of this maze. And boom. Perfect. Alright, and now that we're on the inside of Uranus, we need to paste in our next planet. And that planet is of course going to be Neptune. So let me go ahead and load that schematic. And there we go. Now we've loaded Neptune. But you know, we can't let gold get up there too easy. So I'm thinking we bring this back just a little bit because now I'm thinking we have him do a little bit of parkour. So let me just go ahead and place down my mechanical bearing and start getting some platforms going. And of course, grabbing my super glue just like this. Perfect. And now my creative motor. Perfect. So now we'll need to jump from this platform to this platform just like that. And now I say we go ahead and make a little bit of a rotating ladder platform just like this. Perfect. Super glue all of this up just like this. And now let's tie a creative motor onto it. There we go. Bada big bada boom. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is actually going to be super hard because not only do you have to jump onto the rotating platform, you actually have to climb while you're being rotated. Oh my gosh, that was so confusing. And now I think we should go ahead and grab some dispensers and some pressure plates just like this. Place them down just like that. And on the inside, we're going to be placing a bunch of aliens. There we go go. Almost done. And now when Gold steps on this platform, he's gonna be meted by a bunch of aliens! And if we put ourselves in survival... Oh my gosh, they're super dangerous! Whoa! Oh my gosh, they all just fell from that platform up there! Oh my gosh, and they're still falling! Alright, and perfect. So now we'll have him do one more jump right over here. And you know what? Now I think we can go ahead and give him some ladders. So let me go ahead and place these just like that. Perfect. Just like this. Climb all the way up here, and now we can go ahead and go on the inside. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome! But of course, we're gonna need to paste in our next planet, Neptune! So let me go ahead and load Neptune really quick, just like that, and then slash slash paste. Perfect! There we go! Now we have Neptune! And you know what? Since this is, of course, a security defense planet, I think our next layer should be covered entirely with obsidian. Because as you know, we're trying to make it so that gold can't break into our planet. So I think we should have an entire obsidian wall covering that's in between the layers of Uranus and Neptune. So let me go ahead and place some more obsidian just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, there's no way gold is gonna get through this one. This security layer is definitely going to keep him out. 100%. Because there's just no way that he's actually going to be able to break through. And you might be thinking, well, Lava, then how is he even supposed to get in? Well, since we do have to make this possible, if he stands here and mines this with his fist, he'll be able to break through one layer of obsidian in about five Five minutes. Oh my gosh, this is literally gonna take gold forever. But if he does manage to get on the inside of Neptune, then he'll be able to get to our next security layer defense. And since under Neptune's surface, there's a ginormous ocean of water, I say we go ahead and recreate that here. So let me go ahead and do that with this command, just like this, and then let's go! Oh my gosh, this is literally insane! And now I think we should have a key at the bottom of that ocean. So I say we go ahead and grab a chest. Alright, so now I think we should have a chest at the bottom of this ocean containing some valuable items. And you know what? I'm thinking we put in this chest a ginormous rocket with, of course, some launch pads just so that gold can use it. And you might be thinking, um, Llama, why does gold need a rocket ship? Well, that's because he's gonna need it for our next planet, Earth. But before we go ahead and paste Earth in, we're gonna need something that's guarding that chest. And I'm thinking we go ahead and grab an Elder Guardian. So let me go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean and place down an Elder Guardian. Oh my gosh! Alright, so now that we have this massive ocean set up, we need to build our next planet.
it. Err. So let me go right over here and then type out this command sphere, blue concrete, and then 20. Perfect. And oh my gosh, we need to get out of here. And perfect. Now we have our ginormous planet. But wait a second. This doesn't look like Earth. This is just a big blue ball. So what we need to do is we need to go ahead and add some continents. Because right now, Earth is just a massive ocean. And as we know, Earth definitely isn't just a massive ocean. It has a bunch of land. So let me go in and start adding some of our continents in just like this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, there we go. Just finishing up North America. Almost done. And there we go. Oh my gosh, this looks nothing like North America. Or let me try to make this at least a little bit wider. And then we'll go ahead and extend this down just like this. And uh, that kind of looks a bit more like it. But oh my gosh, this looks terrible. But even still, this barely looks like North America. So you know what? I'm just gonna make up a bunch of continents and start building them. So I'll have one right over here where Europe would be. Let's go ahead and keep filling this out. There we go. Almost done and perfect. And now I'm thinking we need to give gold a way to get from the ocean up to the top of the earth since that's where he's gonna need to place his rocket. So let's go ahead and grab some more of this concrete. Go ahead and go all the way down just like this. Grab our ladders and then build him a nice ladder staircase all the way to the top. Perfect. And now once he's up here, he's gonna have to climb all the way just like this. Perfect. And once he's at the top, he'll see a sign that says rocket goes here. Perfect. And now we just need to make sure that there's a hole ready for the rocket to go through. So let me go and set this to air. Perfect. And you might be wondering, um, Llama, why does gold need a rocket? Well, that's because we're gonna be sending gold to the moon. So if we go ahead and grab our rocket and our launch pads just like this, we can go ahead and get inside it. Oh my gosh, wait, the countdown has started. 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And we're headed to the moon. Whoa. And check this out. Oh my gosh. This is insane. And oh my gosh, using this menu, we can actually go ahead and go to the moon. Oh my gosh. And here we are, the moon. There we go. And the reason why we've sent gold to the moon is so that he can get some cheese, which apparently is only found on the moon. So if we go ahead and go down here and there it is, cheese. There we go, moon cheese or, and now we can go ahead and take this all the way back to Earth. All right, and here we go. We're going back to Earth. All right, here we go, and we have liftoff again. There we go, and now that we have this menu pulled up, we can go in and go to Earth. Oh my gosh, here we are. Um, oh my gosh. And land safely, just like this. And there we go. Um, wait, what the heck? Where are we going? There we go. We made it. And now we can go right back down to Earth, and we can explain to Gold that in order to move on, get cheese from the moon and put it in the hopper. So once we have the cheese, the next and final section will open. So let me go ahead and set all of this to air. And there we go. And you know what? If gold can complete all of our security challenges, I say we go ahead and give them something at the core of our earth. So let me go ahead and grab some gold and let's just place it all over here. And you know what? There we go. We've completed our secure planet base. So I say we go to the surface now. Oh, gold, are you done with your build yet? Yeah, I am, Mama. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna go over there and see what you built. Alrighty, Llama. All right, Gold, I'm coming over in three, two, one. Let's go. Whoa, what the heck? Why do you have a ginormous obsidian planet? What do you mean? This is a security planet. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. And obsidian is like the most secure block of all time. Exactly. Hmm. Wait, what the heck is this? Is this a train? Uh, well, kind of. Hmm. Well, I don't need the train to break into your planet. And I bet there's some sort of secure door right here. Got it. Wait, how'd you know about that? Gold, it was so obvious. There was a path leading up to it and everything. What? Oh my gosh, Gold, how am I supposed to get back? Well, no worries, because all I gotta do is, uh, oh my gosh, I have to guess this password? Gosh, darn it. Here you go, Llama. I built the path back. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? That clearly isn't the for realsies entrance unless I have to find the password somewhere. Wait a second. Is that what this train is for? Hmm, let me go in and get inside and, uh, Wait, how do I work this thing? Well, have a seat. Okay, right here. There we go. Hey, look, you have your hat on and everything. Oh my gosh, check it out. I'm wearing like a conductor's hat or something. All right, here we go. Whoa, wait, I think I have control of the train. Let's go. Oh my gosh, wait, go. This is insane. 
train. Oh my gosh, this is probably the coolest train I've ever seen. How did you build this? Builder never tells his secret. Gold, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love it. And wait, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh, we gotta stop the train. Hey, no llama, why do you have to stop the train? Because there's a big TNT ball ahead. I don't think I wanna go towards that. Well, you don't really have a choice. Oh my gosh, I guess I don't. All right, here we go. All right, right over here and perfect. All right, there we go. All right, I'm getting off this train and oh my gosh, I don't think I want to deal with all this. Why not, Lama? Because it's a gigantic ball of TNT. Why else do you think I want to deal with this? Oh my gosh. Hmm, let's see. All right, of course, another hidden door. Duh. And let's go ahead and complete this parkour. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And oh my gosh. Um, Gold, I have a bad feeling about this. Why do you have a bad feeling about it? Uh, uh, you know what? I think I know what I have to do. So let me just go ahead and get right back here. And I gotta get out of here. Oh my gosh. Go, go, go. Run, Lama, run. Ah, Wait, Lama, oh my run. gosh. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna die. No, you're Whoa. not, Lama. Yes, I am. I'm on one heart. Wait, oh. how did you get on one heart? Oh my gosh. Whoa, that was insane. Let me just fix the tracks really quick. Oh my gosh, Gold, your TNT moon almost killed me. No, it didn't, Llama. Don't be dramatic. Uh, Gold, I'm not being dramatic. I'm literally on one heart. All right, well, now I have the code to get in your secure planet. And let's go. All right, I'm getting back in the train. Let's go. Go ahead and do all this. And let's go. Let's go. And now I have the key. Let's go ahead and take this out. Five, one, two, five. Let's go. Five, one, two, five. Perfect. And now let me go. Go ahead and get through all these sliding glass doors. Open this chest. Oh my gosh. Is this one also 5125? Five, five? It better be. There we go. Okay, perfect. Gold, if you made me find another password, that would have been so bad. I don't know what you're talking about, Llama. Hmm, let's see. I guess I just gotta go through here. And wow! Oh my gosh! What the heck? And you have to get through all the rings to be able to get to further in, Llama. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Almost there, right at the end. And and boom! No! Hey, Lama, how did you manage to do that? I think I I think I think died because I went into the impact zone too hard. Well, sometimes that happens. Welcome to my planet. Wait, this is your planet? Yeah, see the sign right there. Welcome to Gold's planet. What? So you're telling me that this entire obsidian planet wasn't your planet? It was just this dirt one? Well, no, the obsidian planet is to protect my planet. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, I wouldn't want my planet exposed to, you know, space where there's a bunch of asteroids. I guess this obsidian casing makes so much sense now. Not really, but I'm glad you came up with an idea for it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going inside. And, hmm, wait, who are you? Llama 2. Are you my replacement or something? Well, yeah, he never makes fun of me. Well, I, I don't make fun of you too often, right? And you know what, Gold? This guy doesn't look anything like me. He has such a big nose. No, it's pretty accurate. Wait, what, what are you trying to say, Gold? You have a big nose, Llama. What? what you, I don't even have a nose. Well, anyway, that's not what I'm worried about. That's another time, another day. Mm, all right, well, press for a surprise. Uh, Gold, this looks a little suspicious. What do you mean? Um, I don't know. I guess I'll press it anyway, though. Wait, what the heck is this? A penny? What? Gold, this is worthless. Um, Gold, what? what? It's worthless. Um, Gold, you literally just blew up your own build. What do you mean? I didn't blow anything up. Wait, it's fine. Gold, your planet is not fine. There's, like, none of it left. Well, I have more than one planet. Duh. Wait, you, like, the, you, you ruler of the universe or something. You're the ruler of the universe? Since when? Uh, I don't know. Last week? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Gold, what do you mean you were busy? You were busy taking over the universe? Yeah, Llama. See, I got my papers right here. Uh, what? You have your papers? Oh my gosh. What are these papers? License to rule the universe and deed to the universe? Wait, Gold, who gave you these? Um, I don't know. Some guy named Link. I can't even remember his name. Well, Gold, if you like own the universe or whatever, do you want to go check out my planet that you obviously own now? Yeah, of course. All right, let's go. And yeah, wait, Gold, I forgot to rate your planet. I really like the train, so I'm going to give it an 8.5. Only an 8.5? I put all kinds of work into that train. Well, I'm, that's like higher than what I normally give you. I normally try to give you a 7, and then you're like, no, Llama, I want an 8. And I'm like, okay, Gold, I'll give you an 8. And now I'm giving you an 8.5. This is fine.
fine. Fine. I guess I'll take it. All right. Ready? Well, Gold, are you ready? Let's go. Whoa. I don't see anything, Llama. Uh, you just have to get closer. Whoa. What the heck? What one of our planets has a giant ring like this? Well, you might be able to figure out why Jupiter has this big old Saturn ring around it later on. But for now, you have to figure out how to get inside. Oh, okay. That's pretty easy. All right. Let's go. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know there was a hole there. Oh my gosh, Gold, you already fell for my first trap. All right, I won't fall this time. All right, Gold, let's go. Wait, I have to do another rotating bridge, Llama? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, Gold, what are you doing right now? I'm not doing another rotating bridge. Oh my gosh, Gold, what are you doing? Oh, well, you're not even going to be able to complete it. What? Did you fall again? Ah, uh, maybe. Gold, you said you wouldn't fall this time. All right, Gold, well, uh, I don't know how you're going to be able to do this because the entrance to the maze is literally blocked by the bridge. Mm -hmm. Um, Gold, what are you doing? Getting some wood. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize that there was wood inside of Jupiter. There isn't normally any wood there, but I guess I used some wood to make it. Oh my gosh, Gold, that's literally gonna take you forever. I'll help you out. Thanks, Llama. All right, Gold. Well, now you have to find the keys. To find the keys? Yeah, you have to find the keys in order to open up those doors. All right, Llama. I guess I gotta go back then or something. Yup. All right, Gold. Take this rover and try to find some keys. I have to ride on the rings? I've seen this one before, Llama. You've done this before. Wait, where am I driving to, Llama? Just along the rings. I think you already see your first chest. Uh, no, not really. Oh my gosh, you already passed it, Gold. What do you mean I passed it? It's over here. Oh. All right, there you go. Your first key. Perfect. Now I can go back to my rover. And your second key is right over here. Oh, okay. And you know, I'm thinking I add a couple more layers of security to this one. That's fine, Llama. Wait, what? what? How did you do that? Got long arms. Oh my gosh. Gosh darn it. Wait, what the heck is shooting me? Uh, my turret that's guarding your third key. Well, I can get, I'm faster than any turret. I gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, how did you get that? My turret should have killed you. Well, I'm just faster and smarter than any dumb turret. Oh my gosh. All right, Gold, here's your fourth key. Oh, oh. awesome. Wait, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. Wait, uh, Gold, what the heck? How did you do that? I was scared. What? Yeah, obviously you were scared, but how did you just defeat that guy in one punch? Well, I have been working out too, so... Oh my gosh, Gold. You just must be super duper strong or something. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, Gold. You only have one more key. Why isn't there anything around this chest, Llama? Uh, I don't know. It's not trapped, is it? Uh, yeah. It's definitely trapped with the craziest trap you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, there's nothing there. That's kind of lame. Well, yeah. Well, you weren't supposed to die to that wither skeleton. He was supposed to guard my key. Well, spawn something else for me to fight. Uh, okay. I'll, um... I'll spawn this mute in place. You'll never defeat this guy! Take that and that and that! Uh, wait. What the heck? Oh, my gosh. He's actually beating you! Back here! Back here! No way! Oh, my gosh. Wait. This isn't good for you at all, Gold. Come here, you big blaze! Get back here! Take that and take that and take that! Um, Gold. Oh, my gosh! I think it's about to blow up! I gotta get out of here! Yeah, you really do gotta get out of here! Oh, my gosh! Whoa! Now, all I gotta do is defeat its little minions. Oh my gosh, Gold, how are you doing this without any armor or any swords? Oh, I have my space suit on. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I guess I can't go that way anymore, so I guess I gotta turn around. Yeah, you probably do gotta turn around. And now I can just go back to where I came. Yep, let's go! Oh my gosh, Gold, how did you already get through my first layer of security? Because it wasn't very secure. Yeah, clearly my guards, like my wither skeleton and my mutant blaze, they weren't trained well at all. Well, the turret kind of did a good job. Yeah, the turret did kind of do a good job. Did he almost defeat you? No, but he did better than the rest of them. Oh my gosh. I guess I need more turrets next time. Gold, and you know what? I'm gonna make you actually do this rotating bridge. Let's go! And oh my gosh, it's still oh, okay. kind of sideways. Yeah. Oh my... Boom. What? Oh my gosh. I don't know how you keep doing these random sideways bridges, Gold. I don't know. Two, three, four, and five. No way you did it. Mama, are you really making me do another maze? Yeah, it's part of my security levels. I hate mazes, Llama. I don't trust this block, Llama. Uh, why not? It's probably gonna explode or something. No, it would never explode. See, it's not gonna explode, silly. Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my 
my gosh, no way it worked. Let's go. Oh, cool. Now I can get my way. Nope, wife. you're not doing all that gold. You're not cheating this time. You've cheated too many times. Fine, I guess I'll go the normal way, but I'm definitely avoiding these diamond walls. Uh, really? You're not going to be able to avoid it for long. Why not? Uh, because, I don't know. Really good at parkour, Llama. You need to have more faith in Yeah, but only some of the diamond blocks blow up. No, oh, I think they all do. I'm gold. I'm being so for real. This diamond block doesn't blow up at all. Oh my gosh, wait, he's going to the next one. Whoa, ah! what the heck? Oh my gosh, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen you do. I don't even know how I did that. Me neither. Wait a second, I don't pressure plates either. What's in all these? Uh, aliens. Aliens? Yeah, aliens. Of course okay, we're- just run. Oh my gosh, no way. I'm um, gold. No, wait, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh, go, go, go. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them, llama. I know, just turn around and get through it. Oh, I gotta make I... sure they can't get out. True, go, go, go. You know, I'll get rid of all these dispensers so that no more of them can spawn. Hey, llama. Yeah, what's up? I'm supposed to get through this. Yup, with your bare hands. If you want to get to the center of my planet, of course. Oh, I got a little trick up my sleeve. Uh, yeah, and what's that? Thing I've got my trusty snack. Yeah, I'm gold. And that... a golden pickaxe. Wait, what? Oh my gosh. Gosh. And watch this, llama. Wait, wh wait, what? How are you breaking through that obsidian so fast? Oh, um, I ate my favorite food and I've got my pickaxe. No way. How is that even supposed to work? Gold, that literally makes no sense. Oh my gosh, you just became like a superhuman or something. Oh, uh, but well, yeah, that's why I eat puffish, duh. Gosh, I can't believe that worked. Well, Gold, you're gonna have to get to the bottom of the ocean to get a super secret item inside that chest. Oh, okay, here I go. And watch out for the giant elf. Elder Guardian. Oh, there's an Elder Guardian? Where? Uh, over here. I don't know that he sees you, though. Well, Come on, good. Bob. Go get him. Do, 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 do. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe Bob doesn't see you yet. Oh, wait. Hi, I Bob. think he sees you. Get out of here. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. How did you do that? Uh, I ate puffer fish, remember? Oh, yeah. And you're still poisoned from it. No, I'm not poisoned. I'm just drowning. Wait, Gold. Did you even realize that you went through Jupiter and then Saturn and then Neptune and then Uranus? And now you're on planet Earth. Oh, I didn't even notice, Llama. That's actually kind of cool. How'd you manage that? Oh, I just built one planet inside of the next. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Rocket goes here. Okay. I think I gotta do this. Yup, you do. Then I gotta do that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Wait, I can't get in the rocket with you. And now all I have to do is take off? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Oh my gosh, Gold, you're taking off. Here I go. Wait, how far do I have to fly, Llama? To the moon. All oh, the way? Gold. Yeah, all the way to the moon. Wait, Llama, I can't breathe. Wait, what? Put on your space helmet. I don't have a space helmet. Oh no, that's not good. I gotta follow him. Let me grab a rocket. All right, then let's go. Let's follow Gold. And wait, we need a space helmet too. Oh my gosh, wait. Let me just get this and this and this and this. And this. All right, let's go. Oh, get in. All right, just got to use this keypad in order to get to the moon. And all right, here we are. Oh my gosh. Wait, we're, get, wait, we're descending. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wait, Gold, you need a space helmet. Here, put this on. <laughs> Gold, put on that space helmet quick. Oh my gosh. I can breathe again. Oh my gosh, Gold, you almost died. Well, no, not really. I was fine. It just really hurt. Oh, really? I, yeah, I guess it must have been that puffer fish you ate earlier or something. Hey, I can see your face through your visor. Wait, I can kind of see your face through your visor, too. Yeah. All right, Gold. Well, what you have to collect here is a little bit of cheese. Oh, okay. Wait, There's cheese on the moon? Yeah, cheese on the moon. Obviously, duh. Oh, yeah, cheese on the moon. Um, uh, why did you crash? Uh, I kind of didn't mean to. I thought I was slowing down enough. So all I gotta do is mine some cheese. Yeah, exactly. Got cheese, llama. Wait, you have cheese now? Let's go. All right, Gold. Let's take a rocket back to the earth. Okay, llama. Do you, did you bring an extra rocket? Uh, of course. I always have extra rockets. How did you afford all these. They're like really expensive or something. Gold, I'm in creative mode. Oh, yeah. Right about. Here I go. All right. I'm going to follow you back. Let's go. Last one there's a rotten egg. Wait, what? That's not fair. Bye, llama. What? Oh, my gosh. No, you're going to beat me. Oh, my gosh. How is this fair? Gosh, start it. All right, Gold, I'm going to beat you back to Earth. No, you're not, llama. All right. Come on. Just got to land safely. Here we go. Here we go. And I made it before you did. Let's go. Wait, how'd you make it before I did? I'm coming in hot, Llama! Oh my gosh! Gold, you just died. Time to go back down! Wait, Llama, how am I gonna get back down? Uh, I don't know, just don't take fall damage. That what? That's not how that works. You know, I'll just give you a bucket of water, just like this, and now you have to MLG... Here I come! Ah! Oh my gosh, Gold, you missed. I can't believe I missed that, Llama. That was actually really close for not knowing where the water source was before you jumped. Well, I kind 
kind of did, but what are you talking about? All right, Golden, now that you have your cheese, put it in the hopper. What if I put something else in the hopper? It won't work. See, it didn't open. Oh, I guess you're right. <laughs> and there we go. See, now that you put the cheese in, now the hatch is open. Whoa, all right. Here I go then. Let's go. And here it is, the center of the earth with a bunch of gold. Pretty sure the center of the earth isn't a bunch of gold. Yeah, I kind of made that up. The center of the earth is made of like iron and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of lame. What, what do you mean it's kind of lame? I thought you would like the gold blocks. No, I like the gold blocks. I'm saying earth is lame. Oh, yeah, it is kind of lame for not having a diamond center. Today, me and my friend Gold are going to be building planet mazes, but I'm going to be filling mine with all sorts of traps and obstacles to break him. And it gets pretty crazy, so watch it till the end and subscribe. Gold, we're back in space. Let's go. And we're building planet mazes. Are you excited? You bet I am. I'm going to build the best maze ever. What planet are you going to put your maze in, Gold? A planet with mazes? Duh. Oh my gosh, Gold, you're so smart. What planet even normally has mazes? Oh my gosh. Earth, dummy. But I'm not doing Earth. Hmm, I'm on to you, Gold. You're acting a little more suspicious than normal, you know. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's go. All right, let's go. Phew, I'm really glad Gold said that he wasn't building his maze in Earth because guess what planet we're building our maze in? Because right now, I'm gonna be loading the schematic Earth big. And now, let me go in and do slash slash pay. Oh my gosh, and there it is, the entire Earth. This thing is so massive. I cannot wait to put a maze inside of this thing. It's gonna be super cool. But you know what? In order to put a maze inside of this thing easier, I'm thinking we cut this thing in half. So let me go ahead and select this side of the Earth and then select this side of the Earth. We can go ahead and set this entire thing to air. All right, so there we go. Now the entire planet has been cut in half and we can start working on our maze. At first, I'm thinking the entrance should be right about here. And we can go ahead and fill this in and there we go. But Gold is gonna need a way to get all the way up here from all the way down there. So I say we build him a little bit of an elevator. So let me go ahead and grab my extended piston and some gear boxes. And of course, some gold blocks to build the elevator out of because gold is definitely not gonna wanna step on a diamond elevator. And we can go and extend this platform out like this. And then we can go ahead and build our elevator right here. All right, so now in order to make our elevator, we're gonna need to go ahead and place all of these blocks just like this. And with this super glue, we're actually making sure that all of these blocks stick together. All right, and now we can go ahead and start extending this piston all the way up to world high. All right, so now we can go ahead and send this elevator down. Oh my gosh, there it goes. Almost done, and there we go. Now it's all the way at the bottom. All right, so now we need a button, and then we'll place it just like this. And now we'll grab a command block that has this super secret command. All right, so there we go. So now whenever we press this button, we start going upward. Let's go. Well, wait a second. This is going super duper slow. So I say we go ahead and increase the speed. Oh my gosh, that's super fast. All right, so there we go. Now it's at the top of the world. And we can go and give gold a platform to get off on. All right, and for now, I say we set this elevator back down just so that it's ready for gold. All right, and there we go. Now that it's back down there, we can actually start on our super awesome maze. All right, and first, we're gonna need to set our earth into four different sections. So let me go in and set the first section. Oh my gosh, that wall is super massive. And now the second section, the third section. Oh my gosh, there it goes. It's filling it all the way in. And finally, the last section. All right, and there we go. It's all filled in. And these four sections sections are going to be earth, water, fire, and air. And for the earth section, we're going to grab some brown concrete because this brown concrete is the color of earth. So I think we have a little chute that goes all the way down here. All right, almost done. And there we go. And let's go to get a little entrance. And now we can go ahead and start the first section of our maze. So I say we bring it out like this and then maybe bring it around like this. All right, did you know what? I say we set this section to just be a loop. So if gold gets trapped in here, he might be stuck on this loop forever. All right, so you know what? I think this is pretty good for the first section of our maze. And I'm thinking this is going to be the exit. But of course, we can't let gold get off the hook that easy because for our next section of the earth maze, we're gonna grab some of this lime concrete and this super glue and these super dangerous drills. And we're gonna make a rotating log for gold to walk across. All right, so 
now we can go ahead and start putting these drills on here. Just like this, of course. Oh my gosh, Gold is not going to know what hit him when he sees these drills. And just to show you guys what this will look like in the end. Oh my gosh, that's so fast. I think we got to slow that down. All right, so there we go. Oh my gosh, this looks insane. And the reason that we don't have drills on this thing right now is because I'm thinking we start Gold off a little easy by not having any danger, except falling to the bottom of the world, of course. Oh my gosh, this is super scary, but I think we can do it. There we go. And now we can go ahead and finish the rest of this rod. There we go, just like this. And now it should be A-OK -okay complete. And now all you have to do is dodge all of these bikes and there you go but next i say we have gold jump all the way over here to this next section which of course will be another spinning device so let's go ahead and build our spikes up just like this and now for this one i think we can go ahead and start putting drills on some of these just like that there we go and now we can go ahead and set it just like that so now gold is gonna have to travel from here to here oh god right, so now we have to jump over to that platform just like this oh my gosh we made it all right here we go. Here we go. Just got to dodge the drills just like this. Oh my gosh. And you know what? Just to show you guys what happens whenever you touch a drill, I'm going to go into survival mode and let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Oh, you take so much damage. And you just immediately get pushed off as well. So now I'm thinking we have this entire next section built out of the spinning platform. And now for this platform, instead of having the speed at 12, I think we ramp up the speed to a solid 24. And of course, we'll remove all all the spikes just because it's gold first try it something like this and now we'll go ahead and jump just like that oh my gosh oh boy it's going super fast but here we go oh my gosh all right dodge the first one there we go dodge the second one and there we go i dodged the third one. Oh my gosh that thing is going super fast but of course now we have to do the exact same thing but with some spikes attached so now let me go in and add our pulls and now for this one i say we have it go at normal speed it'll be covered in spikes Bikes. Almost done. Just like this. There we go. Perfect. All right, so we'll slow that one down to a 12. And there we go. So now Gold will have to jump from here all the way to over here. Oh my gosh, there's so many drills. I better be careful. Oh my gosh, I hit one. Oh my gosh, and you know what I just realized? We never put walls on this maze. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? So let me go and set that to brown concrete. And then we can set this to brown concrete. And there we go. Now we have all all of the walls complete. And oh my gosh, I just realized it looks like there's a face here. All right, so now that those walls are done, and now that I think we almost have this thing done, hold on, let me go and try to complete it again. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This thing is so hard to complete. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff happening. I say we make one final spinning platform. All right, so what I'm thinking is that all of these poles are gonna have the drill, but I'm thinking we crank the speed up to a 24. So now, oh my gosh, those drills look super scary but if we just go in and pour core like this oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh you know what that was way too hard but you know what i removed only half of the spikes so now that it's going super duper fast and there's only some spikes now it should be maybe possible oh my gosh all right just dodge the first spike all right there we go just dodge the second spike and there we go we made it all the way across all right so now once gold gets all the way over here he's gonna have to jump to our next platform just like this Oh my gosh, but gold is definitely not prepared for this next room because in this next room, the walls are gonna close in on him. So now let me go ahead and build these walls up just like this. All right, it's almost done with the first wall and there we go. And now let me go ahead and start placing these drills. All right, it's almost done and there we go. And now we just have to do it for the other side of the wall. All right, there we go. Now we have our right side and the left side of our wall. So now I'm thinking we go ahead and grab our extended piston. Go ahead and place it right there. So now we can go in and extend this out by six blocks. So two, three, four, five, six. And we can go in and do the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now let's go in and grab all of our tools just like that. All right. So now let's go in and add some pressure plates right here with some command blocks underneath and some redstone attached to it. So that when gold decides that he's going to stand on these pressure plates, that'll activate these two command blocks. That makes it so that the entire wall will close in on him. 
All right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Here we go. Oh my gosh, the walls are closing in. But wait a second. This is way too slow. I can get out so easily. So hold on. Let me go ahead and reset this contraption really quick. And now we can actually go ahead and turn the speeds up to probably something like 48. All right, now let's go ahead and try to get in. Three, two, one. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No. Oh my gosh. Gold would definitely have been crushed then. We need to make that just a little bit slower. So maybe instead of 48, we go with 32. All right. And now I think we finally have the speed just right. So let's go ahead and test this out. Here we go. All right. The walls are close again, but we made it out. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and start on the next part of the earth room. And actually, this is going to be the final room of the earth section. So let me go and extend this block all the way over here. Just so that this room can now be connected to the water section. And this section is going to be a little bit similar to the last section. Because instead of a wall that closes in, gold is going to need to pull this hand crank in order to lift the ceiling up off the ground. And then the moment that he stops turning the hand crank, the ceiling is going to collapse on him. So let me go and get a comparator out of the back, just like this, with some redstone torches, like this. And there we go. Now we have our command block set. But we need to build the roof of this room, obviously. So let's start by bringing these blocks all the way out just like this and then setting all this to brown concrete. And now we can go and set our second layer just like this. All right, there we go. And now that that's done, we can go ahead and set our extended piston up just like this. All right, and there we go. Now we have our crushing ceiling. So now whatever gold decides that he's gonna pull this hand crank, he's gonna need to wait for that to go all the way to the top and then he's gonna need to make a run for it. Oh my gosh, how is he ever gonna get through this? Oh boy, oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh my gosh, and there it goes. And now it's back on the floor. And since the ceiling is two blocks tall, gold will never be able to jump over it. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. I gotta do it again. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I think it's almost at the top. There we go, run! Oh my gosh, that thing looks super heavy. I definitely wouldn't want that thing to crush on me, but now it's time for us to go on to the water section. All right, and for this section, once again, gold is gonna need to drop down just like this. All right, and now that I have this blue shaft made, I say we go ahead and extend our first part of this water course. So let me go ahead and extend this just like this. All right, just like this. And I say we make the walls a little bit taller. All right, it's almost done. And there we go. All right, and now I can go ahead and set this entire section to water. Perfect. All right, and now in order to push gold along this track, we're gonna place a bunch of encased fans just like this. All right, so now on the back of these fans, I can place all of these motors and turn them up to their max speed. All right, so now whenever gold drops in this tube, he's going to get instantly pushed to the other side of the wall. All right, so now that we have our first section of our water course complete, I say we go ahead and grab a sign that says, if blue is the best color, go left. And if yellow is the best color, go right. And now when gold either goes left or right, he's not going to be able to turn back. But of course, what gold doesn't know is that if he decides that yellow is the best color and goes right, we'll have more encased fans just like this. All right, so now what we can do is grab some more water and then fill this all up just like this. And of course, power these fans with the highest powered motors of all time. And what I'm thinking is that we get some void blocks like this. Oh my gosh, those fans fans are so powerful and place them just like this on the other side we can actually have a tank of fake water and what this fake water is going to do is it's going to deal a bunch of damage to gold so now let's go ahead and get all of this in case so now if we go into survival mode oh my gosh i'm already on one heart this can't be good and we read the sign if yellow is the best color go right and of course if gold decides that he's gonna go right he's gonna be pushed into that oh Oh my gosh, that was insane! And now that that's done, we can go ahead and build the rest of our water core. So let me go and build these walls up just like this. Almost done. And now we can get our water and fill it all in just like that. And then break these walls down and place a bunch of water all over the place. And then of course, power these fans just like this. And there we go. So now if we go and jump in like this and of course pick the correct color, we'll be transported to the other side of our water 
course. All right, and there we go. So now I'm thinking we keep this water section a little short. For the next and final section of the water course, we're gonna go in and grab some boats and place them in this chest because next, Gold is gonna have to traverse this seemingly normal river. But of course, what Gold doesn't know about this seemingly normal river is that there's going to be a bunch of Elder Guardians in it. So let me go and fill all this in with some blue concrete and then of course do the walls and there we go and now we can fill all of this with water and go in and grab our guardians so let me go and place some like this. Oh my gosh, gold is not gonna know what hit him with these. Oh gosh, so let's go and try this in survival. Oh my gosh, all of the inner elder guardians are trying to attack me already. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, but I think I made it here alive. Oh my gosh, but these guys are gonna kill me. And now, just so that my guardians don't despawn, I think I name all of them Greg. Hello, Gregory and Gregory and Gregory. And of course, Gregory. All right, so now we can go ahead and start work on our next set. Section, the fire section. All right, and now for our fire section, I say we go in and grab some red concrete. All right, so now let me go in and make my first platform by doing that command. And you know, I actually think we should make this platform super long because gold is gonna have to run from lava that's going to come down from the ceiling. So let me go in and do that command again. And now we have a nice little runway. And now I say we go in and have a row of pressure plates that will activate the dispensers that are, of course, going to be right right up here. All right, so now let me go ahead and start placing my dispensers just like this. And now I think we can go ahead and hook up all of this redstone down here. So of course, let me go ahead and grab some redstone dust and give myself a command block and then go ahead and place that command in there. So now when gold steps on these pressure plates, all of those dispensers will activate. And I'm thinking we have the next row of dispensers right over here. All right, just gotta fill up all of these dispensers with lava just like this. All right, and now I think we have our second row of dispensers dispensers all complete. Oh my gosh. And you know what I just realized? I can actually use the command slash slash copy just like this. And then we can run the command slash slash paste. And then it will set our entire next section for us. And it will even have all of the lava in all of the dispensers for us. Perfect. So I'll run the command slash slash paste again right there. And one more time right here. Perfect. And you know, we can make our platform even longer just like this. Slash slash set red concrete just like that. And now we can even go ahead and set our wall to this room just with this command right here and finally our walls just like this boom perfect all right so now i say we go and try this out ourselves so let's pretend that we're coming out of this water section and now we can go in and give this lava run and try in three two, one, go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. We are gonna run so fast. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That was so close. All right. And now we can go ahead and turn all of those off. Perfect. Now we know that it works perfectly. You know what? I saw some of the lava spilling over to the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and extend these walls all the way to the top, just like this. All right. So there we go. Now our first room is complete, except I'm thinking we go in and grab some orange concrete and make an arrow just like this so that Gold knows which side of the room to go to because there's going to be a super secret entrance right here with a super secret door just like that. So Gold, under all of the pressure of having to dodge all of this lava, is going to have to somehow find this super secret door. All right, and now for the next section, this is definitely not going to be an enclosed room because Gold is going to have to dodge a bunch of fireballs. So now let me load all these fireballs in this dispenser. And now we can copy this dispenser over and over and over again. And we can probably get rid of every other one just like this and do the same on the other side now we'll put a pressure plate right there all right, and let me go and build this redstone clock so now if we hook up this redstone clock to our fire dispenser all of these fireballs will completely destroy gold but we don't want gold to know that there's fireball dispensers on the other side of this door otherwise he won't even want to go through it and that's what this pressure plate's for so if we go ahead and build down just like that with a redstone dust with a command block right there that will connect connect this redstone clock to this redstone contraption. So now if we step on this pressure plate, all of the fireballs will start activating. Perfect. Now what we can actually do is we can link this entire system to the other side by placing a torch right there and then bridging it over with some concrete, bringing it down just like that, and then grabbing some redstone 
dust. And perfect. There we go. All right, so there we go. Now we have all of the repeaters connected to the dispenser and this nice little redstone tower that connects the left side of our contraption to the right side of our contraption. So once Gold decides that he's gonna go through this door, he's gonna be met with a bunch of dispensers. Oh my gosh, there is no way that Gold ever completes this. But you know what? To be at least a little nice, I'm gonna take all of the fire charges out of this dispenser and out of this dispenser just so that he doesn't get blasted immediately with fireballs and he at least has a little time to figure out what's going on all right and you know what i say we go ahead and try this out ourselves all right here we go three two one go oh my gosh i think i might have done it but oh man that was so hard i cannot imagine what gold is gonna have to do to get through that and in fact let's try it again in survival mode just to make sure that it's possible all right here we go land on the pressure plate and all right let's time our jump just like that oh gosh here we go oh my gosh oh man i almost made it through oh man well i guess that means that we're gonna have to make these timings a little bit longer so let me go ahead and try this again all right here we go ready three two one go here we go let's go we did it all right there we go and now we can remove this block and now the entire fire section is ready for gold but now it's time for us to move on to our final section the air section all right there we go let's go ahead and go through this door and now we can go ahead and start work on our super op trap and first i think we should have gold do some rotational parkour so let me go ahead and build our contraption up just like this and you guys will see exactly what i'm talking about so let me go ahead and place this motor underneath and maybe turn it down just a little bit. And now you guys might be able to see where I'm going with this. For the first part of our final section, Gold is gonna have to jump from rotating platform to rotating platform. So now let's go ahead and extend this out just like this, just like this, and then maybe place another mechanical motor right underneath it with all of these blocks right on top. There we go. And you know what? I say we make this one go just a little bit faster than the last one. So let's bring this speed up to 20 and there we go. We go oh boy i hope gold doesn't get dizzy so let's go ahead and try this platform right there and then this platform oh my gosh i almost missed that it was going so fast all right and now for our next platform i say we bring it right over here all right and this one will be one level below the other one and because of that i say we have some of the corners have drills on them so let me place a drill there there and right there. And then we'll go ahead and have that speed set on 16. Perfect. And now if we try to do the parkour just like this. Oh my gosh. Well, he's gonna have to jump over those spinning drills. I hope he doesn't get hurt. But actually, it's not even that bad to jump right in the middle. All right, and for our next spinning platform, I say we actually have something that's spinning a little bit in the other direction. All right, so let me go ahead and build this up just like that. And now Gold is gonna have to time his jump on some vertical moving platform. So let me go ahead and set these up just like that. All right, so now let's see if we can do the course ourselves. All right, here we go. Oh gosh, here we go. All right, got to the second platform. Got to make it to the third platform. Easy peasy. All right, and then let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh my gosh, we're on the side of the platform. What is happening right now? But you know what? I think we made it. Oh man, I know Gold is gonna have a little bit of a hard time with this one. You know what? For our next platform, this one's not gonna be moving in any rotational direction. It's gonna be moving to the left and to the right. So let me go and grab my super glue and make sure that this platform is all super glued together and grab myself some fences just like this. Add another block right there and then we can go and grab our mechanical piston. And now I can grab my vertical gearboxes just like that and of course my shaft. And we can go ahead and start doing some redstone. Alright, and now let me go and set up this platform for our command blocks just so that we can make sure the system works properly. Alright, so there we go. Now we have our platform that moves from right to left. So now if we go in and try this course out just like this. Oh my gosh, I am getting way too good at this. All right, just got to wait to go around again. And boom. All right, now we're on this platform. Now we're on this platform. And now we got to get to this final platform. Perfect. And you know what? I say we have that redstone be a part of the parkour. So what Gold doesn't know is that in order to get to the next jump, he's going to have to jump all the way over there to the redstone. Hold on. Let me make sure that jump is possible real quick. Because I completely just 
missed it. All right, here we go. Here we go. There we go. I made it. Let's go. And now what I'm thinking is that gold is going to have to jump to another one of these platforms like this. And of course, it's actually too far away to jump from from this moving platform. So let's go and try it. And yeah, no, that's way too far. So gold is going to have to figure out the secret path all the way over to this redstone and then all the way over to here. So now let's go ahead and put a creative motor on it just like that. And now the jump should be pretty easy. Perfect. All right. And for this next platform, gold is going to have to pull a hand crank that brings this platform all the way to him. So now I'm just building this piston out really super far just to make sure that gold can reach it all the way. So now let's go to build a contraption for our hand crank just like this. All right. There we go. Now the entire contraption is complete. So now all gold has to do is pull on this hand crank and the platform will come right to him. And then he'll be able to jump right on that platform before it starts to bring him all the way back. And for the last thing, he's going to be able to run across these piston extension poles. He's going to be able to ride a minecart across these light speed rails. So let's go and place this minecart down like that. And let's start going. Oh my gosh, those are so fast. And of course, right at the end, gold is going to be able to get his treasure chest of all golden blocks. And there we go. All right, now I think we should go ahead and check up on what gold's doing and see if he's done with his build. Oh, gold, are you done with your build yet? You bet I am, llama. I've been done. Let's go. All right, well, do you want to check out my awesome mega build first or do you want to check out your tiny build first? I want to check out my build first. It's way cooler than yours and way bigger. What? Oh my gosh, gold, whatever you say. All right, I'm coming over in three, two, one. Oh my gosh, gold, win. I think I can start to see your planet. Um, wait, gold, which planet is this? It's planet gold. What do you think it is? Oh my gosh, wait, it's just a planet made out of solid gold and it's named after you. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. Well, actually, I'm named after the planet, but not to be technical. Oh my gosh, gold, what is wrong with you? All right, you know what? I think I know what I have to do here. I just have to get on this ice boat and walk all the way over here. And wait a second, what? Oh my gosh, wait, sorry. You cannot use this scanner. It's owned by gold. Um, gold, what am I supposed to do? Oh, well, you have to figure it out. Hmm, let's see. All right, well, oh, wait a second. I think I see a blue moon over there. And since blue is my favorite color, I'm gonna go right over there. Ah, oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Wait, oh my gosh, is this password protected? Gold, what am I supposed to do? I don't know the password. Password. Well, I guess you just have to explore, Llama. Well, I bet I can guess the password right now. I bet it's one, two, three, four. Boop. Wait, what? That wasn't it. I'm not going to let you get in that easy, Llama. Oh, man. Well, I guess I got to go exploring around your planet's icy rings. All right. All right. Oh, gosh. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is so hard. Oh, my gosh, Gold. This is super duper hard. That's the point, Llama. And you know, I should probably be in survival mode, huh? Yeah, maybe. All right. Let's see. All right. I see another moon around your planet. All right. Here we go. I'm coming in hot. I'm coming in hot. All right. There we go. And wait. What? Another iron door? Fine. I'm just breaking through this one. Wait. No. You can't break through it. Stop. All right. Well, I bet one of these stupid looking torches have something to do with it. Hmm. Let's see. <gasps> wait. What? How is that? Wait. What? What is that? It's a hidden lever. Oh, my gosh. That's so cool. All right. I'm cold. What are all of those? You're my pet. Oh my gosh, Gold. Why do you always have puffer fish everywhere? You have like a billion puffer fish all the time. Yeah. Mm, well, I guess I gotta get to that chest down there. Oh gosh. Wait, are all of those puffer fish upside down? What is wrong with them? Uh they're just a little special. That's all. Uh, okay. Well, all right. I got it. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm already about to run out of air. Oh my gosh. I mean, you gotta be quick with this and I really gotta make sure I don't get stung by those puffer fish. All right. Here we go. I'm going in in three, two, one, go. All right. Here we go. Go, go. Oh my gosh. Gold. All of your puffer. Wait. Oh my gosh. I got the code. I got the code. All right. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Perfect. All right. Let's see. I got the code from your poisonous puffer fish. Let's see what it is. Code 1737 plus one. Um, Gold, does that mean that your code is 1738? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. All right, you know what's fine. All right, let's go ahead and go right over back to that blue planet. Oh gosh, I better not fall off. All right, smooth landing. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. All right, now let's go and put in the code 1738. There we go. And whoa, um, Gold, this doesn't look safe at all. How am I supposed to do this? Just don't mess up. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna go. All right, all right, you made the first jump 
And the second. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, it's poisonous water. Oh no. All right, here we go. I just gotta go for it. Boom, 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 boom. All right, there we go. All right, here we go. I gotta make this super hard jump. There we go, I did it. All right, in. Oh gosh, that's such a super far jump. I hope I don't break my legs. Here we go, I did it. Let's go. Do not forget password one, two, blank, four, five, blank, seven, eight, blank. Wait, gold, how am I supposed to know what those question marks are? Well, you have to guess. I have to guess? Hmm. Well, if I had to guess, it looks like the number in between two and four would be three, and then five, six, seven, and then eight, nine, maybe? Hmm. Let's go in and give it a try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> Wait, what? Gold mask? What am I supposed to do with this? Well, I guess you'll just have to figure it out, Llama. Hmm. <gasps> Wait a second. Didn't I need some sort of, like, gold scanner earlier? So surely this has to do with that. All right. Here we go. I got to get all the way around this ladder parkour just so I can get back. All right, Gold, I'm almost there, but I'm on one heart. How am I supposed to do this? All right, and I think the code was 1738. All right, there we go. All right, I'm out. There we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, there we go. And now I'm back at the start with three hearts left to spare. Oh, so now if I go and put on this gold mask, this scanner should probably think it's me, right? Oh my gosh, it worked. Let's go. Dang it, you found out that quickly what you had to do. Yep. All right. Remember chest password, but backwards. Oh my gosh, gold. I think it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe if I go nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, it'll work. Perfect. I did it. What were the puffer fish named? Oh my gosh. Jeb, dinner boner, Garfunkel. Um, gold. Garfunkel's a weird name, but wait a second. The puffer fish were upside down, weren't they? Yeah, that means it was Garfunkel. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you? Uh, that wasn't a TNT, was it? It's no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess that means I'll use this limited card. All right. Go oh, on. Um, gold, the card isn't working. Well, maybe you should try Jeb. No, I'm not going to try Jeb because I know how you make mobs go upside down. It's by name tagging them Dinner Bone. Boop, there we go. Oh my gosh. Wait, gold, is this the inside of your planet? Yeah, it is. Whoa, this thing is absolutely insane. And I think I got to put on this elytra and go through this hoop and then go through this hoop. Oh my gosh. And then land in this water. Or maybe I'll just land on the side right over here because I don't want to deal with all that. All right, and instead of taking that platform. I'm just gonna build up a bunch of momentum and then do it like that. Perfect. All right, um, gold. I am definitely gonna die with this one heart. What am I supposed to do with this TNT cannon? Well, you just switch into creative mode and then immediately switch back to survival mode. Okay, gold. All right, I'm back in creative mode and um, oh my gosh, I really hope I don't die even though I'm in creative mode. Oh my gosh. Uh, whoa, wait, what? Oh my gosh, I missed. Gosh darn it. I gotta go all the way back down and try again. You're just bad at the game. Game llama, that's a skill issue. All right, here we go. And there we go. I did it. Let's go. Good job, llama. You made it. Yep, it was easy peasy lemon squeezy. And uh, gold, is this my prize room? Yeah, llama, this is your prize room. All right, gold. Well, I guess since this is my prize room, I'll just go ahead and open up my surprise chest. And oh my gosh, it's a bunch of diamonds. My favorite. Or right, let's go. Um, gold. What just happened? What do you mean? That wasn't supposed to happen. Wait, what do you mean that wasn't supposed to happen? Oh my gosh, your entire planet just blew up. That's not good at all. I guess it just didn't like that it had diamonds on it or something. Oh my gosh, Gold. You definitely placed that TNT there. No, I didn't, Llama. Oh my gosh, you know what, Gold? Well, your build was pretty fun. So what do you mean? You know what? This build was so good that I'll even give it a 9 out of 10. I had so much fun playing. It. That's the highest score I've ever gotten. I know. All right, Gold, are you ready to come check out my build now? You betcha, Llama. All right, Gold, we'll just follow me right over to my side, and we'll go ahead and start the build. Okay, Llama. All right, Gold, so if you just come right over this wall, check out my massive earth. Oh, my gosh. Wait, where's the other half of it? Oh, uh, I kind of didn't have time to finish it, and I sort of just got rid of it. Well, I mean, I guess. All right, Gold, well, if you step on this golden elevator and put push that button right there. We'll be able to go to the top immediately. This is so fast. Oh my gosh, Gold. How are you staying on top of that the entire time? You were like literally below the platform. I don't know. 
Oh, that was super fun, though. All right, Gold. Well, it's your first section of the maze, the Earth section. Oh, maze your mazes are always really easy, Llama. And what are you talking about? You're already going down the complete wrong. Just take a right turn and then take another right turn and then another right turn and another right turn. Oh, my gosh. I think Gold got trapped in this loop. I told you guys he would do that. Oh, my gosh. I think we might have to tell him that this isn't working. Wait a second. I think I'm just going in circles, but there's no circles in Minecraft. I can't be. All right, Gold. Well, you might not be going in a circle, but you definitely might be going in a square. Well, I guess. So I guess I'll just have to go this way again. Oh my gosh. Oh no, he's getting closer to the exit of the maze. He's actually getting ready to complete it. Hmm, what if I just go this way? No. Nope. Alright, another dead end. Alright, come on, Gold. Keep going. Oh my gosh, I got it! More moving blocks. How did you do this, Llama? I don't know. I'm just super good at the game. Oh no, Gold, you just fell! Oh my gosh. Okay, so now to try again. Let's do this and then this. Alright, Gold, you got this. Oh my gosh, he's actually doing it. Oh boy, watch out for the drills. What drills? Ow! Those drills! Oh my gosh! He's going through it so fast! Whoa, Gold, you're like a parkour pro! What is this? Oh my gosh, you're insane! No, I can't believe I fell off! Oh my gosh, Gold, I can't believe you literally fell on the last jump! That was crazy! I know, it launched me last second! Oh my gosh, oh boy, Gold, well, you finally made it! Alright, well, Gold, let's try out the next room! What is this? Oh my gosh, the drills are closing in on me! Oh my gosh, watch out! That wasn't that bad! Yeah, I guess not! Oh my gosh, I should have made those drills faster. Wait, how am I supposed to get over this? No, Gold, don't break the block. What are you doing? There's a hand crank right behind you. You should try pulling it. But that's too much work. Oh my gosh, Gold, what are you doing? Fine. All right, there you go. Oh boy. Wait, I have to keep cranking it? How am I supposed to get under there? Uh, you just have to run super duper fast. Here I go. Oh my gosh, you better start running faster, Gold. It's about to cross you. I made it. No way, you did it. Oh my gosh, that was actually crazy. Oh boy, and now he's onto the water section. Here you go. If yellow is the best color, go right. And if blue is the best color, go left. Well, I know this trick. It's the oldest one in the book. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oldest trick in the book. I haven't used this trick before ever. Mm-mm-mm, whatsoever. Mama, you always use this trick. Oh my gosh, I need to come up with a new trick. There we go. If yellow is the best color, go left. That's what I'll do. My gosh, the fans are pushing me. All right, um, Gold, have fun with Gregory. Wait, who's Gregory? Um, just my elder guardian. Wait, Llama, how am I supposed to get past all these guardians? I don't know. I was able to do it when I tested it. Wait, I have an idea. What if I just run? Oh, my gosh, Gold, you're gonna die. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh, how are you doing this? No way. I cannot believe you just did that, Gold. That was insane. But, Gold, be prepared for the next room. Oh, my gosh. Gosh, Gold. Oh my gosh, wait, how am I supposed to get past all this lava? It's gonna drown me. Oh my gosh, Gold, go, 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 get out of there. Oh my gosh. Go through the secret door, go through the secret door. Oh, I'm dead. All right, Gold, try again and be on the lookout for a secret exit. Wait, none of the other lava is firing. What the heck? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, my redstone contraption failed. No. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess you're on to the next section. Wait, I know how to stop that. Wait, what? Did you just break my repeat? Ah, uh, no, you pushed me off, Lava! Wait, what? I pushed you off! All right, you know what? That gives me time to absolutely protect these with some obsidian. Because you're not getting past that one that easy, Gold. Yeah, I am, Lama. Watch this. All right, almost done. And wait, you passed me? What the heck? Oh, my gosh. How did that work? You're just too slow, Lama. Oh, man, I must be too slow. All right, Gold, the final section, the sky section. Wait, this makes me really dizzy, Lama. Oh, my gosh. You're already doing this parkour like a pro. Yeah, I am. Llama, because I've always been the best at parkour. Whoa, what? How did you do that? You didn't even, like, step on those platforms. Oh, my gosh. Your game must be lagging or something. Wait, where am I supposed to go from here? Well, Gold, you're just supposed to find the super easy... Oh, my gosh, you instantly found it. What the heck? That was easy, Llama. Yep. Boom! Now all I have to do is get over to this one, and perfect. Now what? Well, now you just have to pull that hand crank, and the platform will come right to you. Oh, okay. All right, almost there, and there it is. Blink. Oh my gosh, this is really cool, Llama. I know. It's one of my favorite builds I've done of all time. And then I just have to walk across this shaft. What are these rail tracks? Uh, you'll just have to find out when you get in. All right, have fun. Oh my gosh, these are super fast. I can't stop. I know, it's super duper 
super fast. Oh my gosh, all this gold. Does that mean it's mine, Llama? Yup, you completed my maze. What did you think of it? That was really fun. I really like the moving parkour. Let's go. All right, Gold. Well, what do you rate my build? I'll have to rate it a solid 10 out of 10. Let's go. Oh my gosh, but you just died. Yeah, there's kind of a lot of places to fall off. Yeah, there are a lot of places. Like right there. Wait, Llama, no, that's not fair. Oh my gosh, Gold. You got us not falling off. But Llama, how did you build something so big in such a short amount of time? Well, I mean, I guess like the same way that you did. Didn't you use some sort of like sphere command or something? But I noticed there's a lot of detail in your sphere, Llama. Like what? Like the continents. Oh yeah, there is Antarctica on the bottom and I believe Australia and South America are around here somewhere. So how did you know how to build those? Because I'm uh just such a good, uh you know, builder, obviously. Llama, you're terrible at building. I don't believe you. Oh my gosh, Gold. Fine. I pasted it in the earth and then I cut it in half. But everything else, like the traps and stuff, were mine. Well, that's not that big a deal. All right, perfect. So you forgive me for cheating? I guess just this one time. But you really need to stop cheating. Mm, maybe I will in the future. But that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to check out itslama.shop for our brand new llama plushies. Let's go.